It's Brie. Welcome to another one of my Instagram editing tutorials. I want to make sure you're watching this on your phone as it's going to be mobile friendly. Hope you get a lot out of this. Enjoy. I want to show you guys just kind of like a basic edit I would do on my iPhone. So, um, or with an, a picture I took on my iPhone. What when you use your iPhone to take pictures, which I do about 50% of the time, I find that editing um, can just transform the picture. So I wanted to share with you um, just a picture I took on my iPhone and how I edited it. So like I normally do, I'm gonna start in PicTap Go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up. Let's see, I think I use, so let's go through here. One of these, was that the one that I wanted to do? I think this is the winner, ta-da. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna hit edit, and I'm going to, um, I usually like to start with a little bit of bright side, but that's just too washed out. So I just don't really think that we need any bright side on this one. So I think that I will actually up the contrast a touch. Um, maybe not all the way, let's see here. Maybe, let's go about three fourths, and then add a wake. I like a wake. I think that when you're, you're curating your feed, it's good to have a little bit of a signature touch. I like my pic the way that this filter looks on my pictures just to keep them cohesive. Of course, you don't need to do this exactly. Find something that um, works for you, an effect or a little a filter that you like um, that gives your picture a unique effect that consi you can consistently see through your feed. I find that to be helpful. Okay, great, it's a little bit much. So I'm just gonna go maybe about two thirds of the way. I mean, one third of the way. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save that. Save, and I'm gonna go ahead and now, what I always do secondly is um, Visco Cam. So I'm gonna pull it up in Visco. Um, oh wait, I don't know why I have two of these little suckers in here. Okay, delete that. So I think that we're gonna pull this up. That looks pretty good, my feed right there. So I, I'm always trying to have a balance of busy backgrounds, plain backgrounds, interesting features, whatever it might be. So we're gonna pull this up in Visco. With the iPhone, I usually try to sharpen it a touch. So I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen it. Um, first thing first, just kind of see it better. Then I'm gonna go back to my filter. Maybe like a little touch of a, ooh, yeah, I'm not, it really doesn't need much. So I'm gonna maybe just barely hit the A6, and that's why you have to have an eye and uniquely edit every picture. If I just blew out A6 on every picture, that's just too much, or whatever filter you like, or whatever you're using. That's good. I think this needs to be warmed up a little bit. I can definitely see that right away, so I'm gonna go ahead and warm it up. Let's see, temperature, let's warm, 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 warm. Ooh, I'm just liking it glowy and warm. Um, and this is also a personal preference. A year ago, I wanted all my pictures to be cool, cool, cool. For some reason right now, I'm just feeling warmer, warmer tones in my photos. And I think that, again, consistency in your feed, whatever you're feeling, just try to tie it together. So that's fun. Also, obviously, Buzzy's freaking out in this picture, but I just think it's funny. I mean, this is, this is motherhood, right? Sometimes your kids are freaking out. Okay, we're gonna save that. <clears throat> I could up the green a little bit. I could, let's see, I, I think I'm actually gonna sharpen it just a touch more. So now I'm almost to five there, and it just kind of takes like a little bit of an eye there. Let's straighten this out just a touch. It's a little crooked, so I'm gonna straighten it out. I think I'm gonna end up cropping that too. I think that, I think I kind of want just the, the background, um, and I think that I like, I think I love those shoes, but I think that the grass is distracting. So let's crop this down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna, let's see. Yeah, I just think it's kind of a little, a touch more impactful when it's cropped. That's great. Okay. Let me see, looking good. So let's go ahead and save that. Yeah, I, I like it cropped in my feed too. I think I'm gonna keep it cropped. Okay, so we'll save that. The next thing that I would wanna do is remove the distractions from the background. So I'm gonna use an app called Easy Eraser. It's free. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and choose our photo. We're gonna choose our last photo. I'm just kidding right here. Okay, can we, that's fine actually, if it crops like that a little bit. I think I'll just go that way. Okay. So I'm gonna frame that, great. So I wanna get rid of, wait, let's go back a little bit. Jeez, because I cropped it incorrectly. 
So I want to get rid of the distractions on the wall, right? So like right there. Okay. So why is it showing the grass? I don't like that. I don't want any grass in the picture. Choose photo. Sorry, let me just try this one more time. Alrighty, no grass in the picture, please. Hmm. Okay, I'll just go ahead and remove that. I'll just edit that, um, that little bit of grass out when we're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the brush and I am going to actually probably zoom in just a little bit so I have a little more control over my brush. I'm going to hit the brush feature and I'm just going to highlight what I want to remove. It's pretty easy. Uh, you don't want to get too close, maybe just a little bit closer. And let's go ahead and erase that. Great, I'll get a little bit closer. And then I kind of, I want to erase down here too. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep. Oh, we're gonna do it, a little, let's go ahead and actually change because I want to erase a little bit more. I'm gonna use my finger and highlight the area that's bugging me. A little higher there. Great, oh, you know what, you don't ever want. So watch, I'll show you, I accidentally got a little of my jeans. So we're gonna have to fix that because I'm not trying to edit my leg skinnier or whatever that is. So it's not actually that big of a deal here. I didn't, I mean, that's fine, I'll keep it. Normally though, I would go back and highlight that off if I felt like, I, I never wanna look like I'm trying to Photoshop my leg skinnier or something. I just wanna get rid of the distractions. So let's add a little bit more. It's kind of, I think this is all distracting, so we'll get rid of that. And this is distracting, so we'll get rid of that. Just want a fluid, peachy background. Perform a race. Yes, I mean, I think that looks so much better. I'm really happy with that. Yahoo. The only thing is, I think by Elle's foot, is a, we, let, we left it just a touch. So I'm just gonna hit the zoom button, zoom in just a bit more, and just get a little bit closer on this grid here to get rid of it without hitting Buzzy's head. That should be good. Okay, perform a race. Ta-da! So now we just kind of have a fun, distraction-free photo taken with the iPhone. I think it pops. I think it's nice and sharp. We'll keep that. Share. <clears throat> and we are good to go. Let's go ahead and just copy that right into the gram. We'll posty posty. I already, I already know that it looks great in my um in my feed and it's ready to go. So I hope that helps guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if there's anything um, else that you wanna see. I'm happy to share. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, maybe give it a like and even get crazier and subscribe. Bye guys.